Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about three main strategies that you should actually take in order to make a transition towards data science from some other domain. Okay. Now, please make sure that you watch this video till the end because this is again a very short video, but the importance of this video is pretty much uh, important for everyone. Okay. Now, the first strategy that you should definitely follow is the learn data science techniques properly. Okay. Now, when I talk about learning data science techniques, I mean, like, make sure that you follow entire life cycle of a data science project properly. Try to learn techniques like feature engineering, feature selection, model creation, um, uh, hyperparameter tuning, model deployment, you know, it may be with respect to machine learning and deep learning. Learn in such a way that try to understand why you are actually doing those things because this will be very much important guys uh, why I'm saying you why you are doing that specific thing okay you have this specific data why you are handling the missing data in this specific way why you are trying to do feature selection in this specific way why you are hyperparameter tuning your model in this specific way you really need to understand why and how right all these things when you are able to understand this trust me you'll be able to use your knowledge in a larger way uh, which I'll be discussing in the upcoming two points. So the first point is very much simple guys learn the data science techniques in such a way that you try to understand why and how you are actually doing it. Okay. And definitely if you follow my complete machine learning playlist or complete deep learning playlist, I have usually told that why we are actually doing that specific thing. Now coming to the second point. Okay. Implement as many as end to end projects you can guys. Okay. And one thing about this specific projects it can be that you can implement any domain specific projects okay and this is for the people who are coming from other domain like uh, mechanical engineering civil engineering probably from bcom and all try to implement the second point will be that try to implement as many as end to end projects take up kaggle competitions uh, take that entire project convert into an end to end project because many people will be thinking krish uh, how do we know that which end to end project we need to convert one very simple way is that guys in kaggle you have so huge so many number of data sets take that particular data sets convert into an end to end project as you can how you have to convert it just take that particular data set and then uh, probably create an ui and probably try to develop that entire end to end data science project along with the deployment probably if you are using machine learning you'll try to create a pickle file if you're using deep learning you'll try to create a h5 file it based on like what keras or tensorflow you are that that you are actually using okay Try to implement at least five to 10. The practice should be at least five to 10. Why I'm telling you by this, you will be able to get the knowledge from different, different domains. And it is not like in only one domain, you'll be implementing projects. Instead, try to implement in also multiple domains. And there are a lot of data sets that are available in multiple domains itself, guys. Uh, uh, because understand in this, right, in Kaggle, uh, there are a lot of different different competition that is the reason why i say that data science is a technique that can be applied in any any domain so this is the second point guys at least try to implement around five to ten end-to-end -end projects and you can also check out my channel where i've actually explained about live stream projects you know where i've explained where we have implemented completely from end to end okay so this will definitely be important now this two first two will actually help you to build your base uh it will actually give you the knowledge that how you can implement the projects. You'll get a lot of idea. Okay. A lot of strategies to actually develop a project or solve a project. Okay. Or solve a use case in short. Now, this third point is very much important. Now you have learned all these things. Now, whichever domain you are actually coming from, try to use this knowledge in solving some of the use case in your domain. You know, probably there may be people who will be working in that specific domain some some use case just try to think can you bring some ai module or can you use some data science techniques in some of the modules of the work that you have actually done right if i take an example of hr okay i can definitely create a uh, you know a tool which will be able to scan the resume and just tell you the most important keywords it will try to give you a score between 1 to 10 of that specific uh, person of that specific uh, whose resume you have actually got this is one example, right? You're from HR domain and just you have developed an application which scans the resume and which gives you some score so that you can forward that particular resume. If that particular resume is more than seven score, you will basically forward it to the uh, recruiter for the further hiring process. You can automate that continuous process. Probably if I say with respect to banking, you are in the banking domain, okay? 
you may be saying that uh, okay why not create a churn modeling for that churn modeling is a very good use case and yes you're working in the banking domain and you can think of this specific use case if you are from electronics and communication try to see that whether you can automate some of the things that you actually do with the help of circuits and circuits and boards that uh, those are the use cases that you usually solve when you are actually in that specific domain similarly with respect to mechanical engineering whatever work that you are actually doing in the manufacturing domain think that you can whether you can apply or not one very good example recently a person actually uh, made a successful career transition from mechanical to data science he told that i was in the manufacturing domain i just tried to explain the recruiter see he was actually doing some kind of uh, work in the manufacturing domain and he just did a poc saying that can i implement ai into that it is also like poc is just a proof of concept guys he just developed a sample model he showed to his manager and the same thing explained to the recruiter guys and in this way see and there are also many things guys recently when i uh, talk to some of the people you know even though they are getting interview calls in the first round they are out and i asked them what is the main reason they are saying that i was not able to explain the project properly now if you follow this particular strategy where you are learning the data science techniques properly where you are solving many end to end projects and now finally you are able to apply that specific thing in your domain by this particular way you will also be able to explain properly uh, to the recruiter over there right you'll be having the idea that how at least you have implemented the project or how you can at least implement a specific project in your domain itself i'm saying implemented or implement or probably you'll be implementing it right all these things will automatically will be coming in your mind you'll be confident enough in explaining the recruiter in an amazing way guys make sure that you follow this particular three strategies because this is the conversation that i'm actually having from people who had actually recently made so many successful transitions from other domain itself so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not else guys see you in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye